Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Um, okay, it's been a week filled with ups and downs. Um, we have hit 8,745 signatures, but um, this week I've noticed that the signatures are beginning to taper off a bit. And with that came a feeling that, oh my God, please, I'm terrified that we're going to just fall back into the status quo and we're not going to keep pushing for this. Um, so I decided at that time, well, what can I do? What can I do to just keep things moving in the right direction? And I decided, OK, I'm going to set up a website. And so with the help of a fantastic consultant who is a really good friend, he helped and talked me through the trauma of setting a website up. And um, he was excellent and spent ages with me talking me through the process. And patience is a virtue. And he definitely has that virtue because I must have stressed the living daylights out of him. But it's all up and running now. The website has been populated by me today. I have filled it in and I've put some details down. It's citizens.com org and you'll have the link below on there what i've done is i've put my first blog which is a piece from the bbc with an interview for manura mirza in which she actually talks about her thoughts on the disparity audit which was done in 2017 and it also includes her criticisms of david lammy's report so it's really interesting to watch and, and it's on the website so you can go in and have a look um also this week on tuesday when i was thinking right i'm i'm setting up the website this weekend i'm going to be doing this i'm going to be doing that i was still feeling that please God, I hope this whole thing doesn't begin to evaporate into nothingness and that we don't fall back into the status quo because the government have done nothing and they're just biding their time thinking that we're all just going to stop doing this and forget about it. And so I thought, what are we going to do? But then I got a call from a lady called Annette and this call was one of the most exhilarating calls I've ever had because she belongs to an organisation called Be That Change, which they set up um, just over a month ago. And it's like minded people who who hate this issue in relation to racism and want to do everything they can from a community level to address it. They have young people, older people, artists, photographers, all kinds of people involved in this organisation. And they said to me that they wanted me to be a part of that and they wanted to get behind this campaign, which was like a breath of fresh air to me because it has been quite hard work. And I did say last time that we were looking to get involved via the community and see what we could do. Um, so I had a Zoom meeting with them on Thursday and it was like an an adrenaline boost. It was filled with positive ideas, things we need to do to get this campaign right up there to make sure that we get it into the public domain, into the massive mainstream. And so we've, we're have we going to do a post, um, I think in a couple of weeks, if not sooner. And that post is going to incorporate things about the campaign. But I'm going to put their Facebook address at the bottom of this link so you can go in and have a look at what they're doing because it's fantastic things that they are doing and I'm going to be a part of that too which I am honoured to be I'm honoured that they've asked me to do that um, so what it boils down to now is that I have issued the paperwork to Boris Johnson and if we're looking at timelines we're talking about for the freedom of information, he has until the 21st of July to respond to that. Now, I served the papers, the, well, the MP, my MP served the letter on him on the 24th of June. We've heard nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give that an official 21 days from the 24th of June. And if he does not respond to my letter, I'm going to post it online and we are going to basically make that public for all to see and to show that irrespective of everything we've tried to do this government have just literally made the decision that they're going to ignore us so 
we're also on the same track if they decide just to go ahead with this commission and ignore everything that everybody else has said because the legal case will go ahead if that's the case we will look at the aspects of what we can do to make that happen um so where we are now is that we are still on the crest of that wave you will be able to log into my website um i did do um, a detailed background of where we were 50 years ago and where we are now but it was I said I'd do it in one page but I did it in two and a half so I'm whittling it down because I want to put it on my website so if you log into the website all the things I want to talk about all the things I want to do will be on there um, and I'll be giving you my weekly updates and look out for be that change because a lot is going to happen as a result of this organisation joining this campaign. Take care, everyone. Have a lovely weekend and see you later. Bye.